Palace of the Asantehini Mesha Palace. Mesha simply means where people gather. This is a powerful palace. You don't mess around this zone. Is we are going to the old palace area. Unfortunately, the museum has been closed for rehabilitation, renovation, but they've opened a small portion where we can still take a tour and see the life and history of the Asante Empire. Now, the first palace was built as a compensation to the Santas when the exile came Premper II to the Seychelles Island. But the Asantes refused their chief or their king to occupy it until it was fully paid for. Because when it was fully paid for before they allowed the king to come in. So we are going to go in and we are going to see royal paraphernalias and other things that the king uses. So you are welcome. The Asantini is one of the most power is the most powerful chief when he speak everybody listen under him he has over 60 and chiefs and paramount chiefs and queens so yeah has they are amahini amahini under him and he is at the apex of it and all the chiefs in asante swore allegiance to him and he is known as Osai Tutu II. Asantehene Osai Tutu II. He is the second because he touched the stool of the founder of the Asante Kingdom, Osai Tutu I. So we're going to go into Asante history and then learn more about the yeah. warriors and kings and chiefs. First, we have seen the effigy of past Asante kings like Nanaya Santua and all the others, but currently we will not be able to see those effigies because this is so. Let's go enjoy the history of Asante. 